All right. It's uh, Friday, July 19th, 8.06 a.m., 2019. And I uh, did not sleep last night. So I'm especially cranky. Really cranky. And uh, it's weird. I haven't had time to paint all this maybe like a week I don't even remember I'm having a whole bunch of problems with Facebook right now <clears throat> there's uh they introduced this business manager thing and it screwed up basically my access to my Facebook page so I can't really respond to anybody and or do anything until they figure it out spent about three or four hours let me just turn this down. Three or four hours yesterday. Was it yesterday or the day before? I can't remember. We're trying to like with their technical support chat. Oh man, what a pain in the butt. I think it's because they had a, an AI bot called the. Oh, what am I doing? An AI bot called CRM bot. Because I got a notification and it said. We added you to the account manager, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't even know what this is. And then I lost access on my mobile phone to my uh, art page. And I can't really do much on it. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck it. Okay. <clears throat> I've been having dreams of all of these different paintings I want to do. And how much I really don't like the stuff I'm doing right now. To be honest, I kind of hate it, but I feel like I have to do it. I don't feel like doing. Well, I'm gonna just. Yeah, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm, oh, crying out loud. Is this thing even recording? Oh, I just want to check to make sure it's on. So it's online. Let me just refresh this page. Okay, might we on Facebook? Maybe we're not. Hmm. It's not, it's not working on YouTube. That's weird. Yeah, it's working on Facebook. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's not, it's not streaming to YouTube. It's happened to me before. Isn't that weird? Isn't that strange? Well, isn't that weird? Where the hell? is YouTube. Why aren't you there? I don't understand. Does anyone know? Because I don't. I do not know. It says YouTube. It says sending data. I don't know what that means. Huh. Okay. Well, ah, I don't want that. Yeah, I don't know why it's not working on YouTube. Isn't that kind of messed up? Oh well. Oh well. Forget about YouTube then. I'm out of it. I am totally out of it. This is like my fourth coffee already. Come on, autofocus. Where are you? Autofocus. There we go. Oh, snap in the autofocus. Increase the color a bit. All right, so I have to put it about here. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. we do how 
about that? What do you think of that? <clears throat> So what I see here is like a big hill in the distance with some hills in the foreground, duh. <clears throat> but what I'm thinking is, wait, I can hear something. Where's that coming from? Oh, it's there. Let me just pause that. Um, See, they're going to be. Light hitting the hill and dark in the front. I don't know. Something's telling me I should also. Well, I was kind of doing these things, which are just so weirdly simple. I wonder if I should just do a couple more. They're so fucking weird. Look at. I kind I like the sky ones. I like this stuff. That's cool. Okay, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like when the sky comes off wispy like that. And then maybe, maybe this. Why do I? I I'm seeing blue here. Okay, let's do um. Let's do a. Let's just do this. I don't know why blues. No, I don't think blues is gonna it's gonna stay. Blues and greens, maybe. I don't know. Let's do that. That's, this is an ugly green. Ooh, you nasty. You nasty green. <clears throat> All right, let's get this giant brush here. Oh, this is one of my. Uh, oil acrylic brushes and let's do like this whoa boy what's that shakespeare boil boil something what are the three witches toil and trouble something something to be honest i don't like shakespeare i pretty much have a strong dislike of shakespeare <clears throat> because you know no one knows what the fuck he's what they're saying it's the, in the ye old english <clears throat> no one speaks the old english so you had to like translate every sentence and you're like, you know, it felt pretentious. <clears throat> I don't speak no ye old English. All right, let's get down to business. Let's stop screwing around. Let's make some fucking art. Let's make some artastic. Ah, look at that. Now that's what we're talking about. Look at that beaut. She's a beauty, eh? <laughs> There's no one here. <laughs> uh, I'm such a loser sometimes. <clears throat> okay. Okay, what else could I do with this? <sighs> Look at this bad boy of black. Kind of... Oh, do I want to make this dark? I was kind of feeling I'm doing something like this one. Come here, you. <clears throat> it's much more chipper. She is a chipper. I, I like all these little doodaddy little schnaggle, no foggles and tinkler planks and snapply tooths. Maybe I should do a couple more of the branchy branches. These are all highly technical terms. I understand if you don't get it. I understand. <clears throat> if your brain is the size of, size of a peanut, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Where's the white? The white. Hmm. <laughs> No photographs were abused during the making of this painting. <clears throat> I 
That's the sound of the wind. Can you feel it? Now I need something else in this painting here. This here painting. Oh, are we going to do some yellows? I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> yellows or the hills are alive with the sound of music oh, oh, oh. Remember that song that that uh thing in jiggy yellow Ooh, it's kind of a nice gross mustardy color the hills are alive with the sound of music Oh, you know, I don't like this round, stupid thing. Now it just looks like a round hill. I always thought it would be like this mountain in the distance, but now it looks just like my belly. Nice round belly. Oh, yes. Big round belly. That's what it is. Kind of, it's sucktastic. Hmm. Hmm. We got to turn this thing into art. Art. Oh, I, I should zoom in. Boop. Boop. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> so we got a... I didn't do a wash. <clears throat> That's fine. Didn't do a wash. Let's see if... Uh, uh, how do you tell if someone's chatting with you on Twitch? I don't know. I click channel. I don't see any chat thing. Maybe I gotta. Maybe I gotta. Pull, oh, there it is. There's the chat window. Okay. All right. So I just figured out Twitch. Isn't that awesome? Okay. All right. Hmm. Hiccup. I think it's... <clears throat> yeah, I just don't like this hill anymore. There was a hill. Let's just change it. <clears throat> don't like that hill anymore. Let's just do a bunch of stuff like this. Fuck it. Fuck it. The sound of music. Oh. That. I should have got that splinter in my thumb. The dog bite's almost gone. I think it might leave a scar. <clears throat> what are you going to be? What are you going to turn into, my little friend here? What are you going to turn into? What kind of little scene? I'm going to make some bushes here? Are you bushes? All right. Let's make some little bushes. Let's just do some layers of bushes. Why not? What the hell was that? That's a weird little sound. <clears throat> Okay. Well, hmm. It's like I'm going at a quarter speed. Very, very loud right now. Very, very, very loud. Hmm. 
Hmm. I say, hmm, say what? <sighs> Hills are alive with the sound of Muzak. Ah, hills are alive with the sound of Muzak. Papers look wet, that's why I can't really do stuff over there. The hills are alive with the sound of music. I'm surprised I'm not insane yet with this fucking rain in my ear. Right now it's very, very disturbing. Very, very disturbing. <sighs> All right, fuck this. Let's just put some crazy red in there. Ah, don't do it. <sighs> too late. I did it. It's too late. Uh, I put some red in there. Look at this horrible red coral red. The problem is it's going to turn from this brilliant red. Ooh, it's like a gross pink. It's going to turn from this really uh, brilliant red into like some other stuff and things. Uh, 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 uh to the sound of music. What is this stuff? Ooh, that's the grossest color that was ever created right there. Boom. Booyakasha. That was a gross, a gross color. All right, I'll bring some black in. You want some black? I'll give you some black right there. <laughs> Hills are alive. Oh, I really want this rigging to go away. Oh man, it's like day by day. Gotta take it day by day. Every day, you gotta deal with this stuff. Can't get enough, come on. Till you don't bump. Don't stop till you get enough, come on. Till you don't stop. Don't stop till you get enough, come on. I don't know the words to the Michael Jackson song, come on. I don't know the <laughs> words to the. Ooh, that's the wrong blue. Let's bring in this. What are you, Viridian? I know you. I know you, Viridian. I have seen you before. <clears throat> Lemon. Let's bring some lemon yellow in, shall we? We do not know what this lemon is about. But if we bring our fingers across thus, we might create something good or bad. Let us experiment. Let us experiment and add some white. Let us add some white. What? happens when I add the white. What happens? It looks terrible. It looks terrible. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. 
It looks terrible. Carmine. Hi, Carmine. Oh, that's what you are. You're crazy red. You're a crazy red. Carmine. <clears throat> I am just trying to distract myself from the insane ringing that's going on in my head. So there is kind of a method to the madness. Burn Sienna. Oh. Yeah, I wonder how long I can take this for. Crimson. What are you doing here, Crimson? See, look. Whoa, look how dark it. See, look at that. You got to listen to me. I know what I'm talking about. See how dark red it went? Turned into this ugly red of some kind. Okay. Now. Don't you worry. This is going to turn into something beautiful. Something beautiful. Just gotta massage it a little. It just needs a little bit of love. That's all. It just needs a little bit of TLC. And then it'll turn into something magic. Finger painting. Hello, finger painting. You just watch and wait and learn. Watch what happens. Something's going to happen. I have faith. I have faith that this disgusting mess is going to turn into something sublime. Sublime. Because currently it looks like Ralph. Murphtastic. It looks barftastic. Currently, it's barftastical, isn't it? Barftastic. Look at these colors; are horrible. Whew. What are you going to be, little drawing, little painting? How are you going to turn into something that's crapalicious into something that's delicious? Because <sighs> right now, on a scale of one to barftastic, This is eleven. Eleven <clears throat> on the scale of barftastic. Ooh, that's sharp. Look how bright that blue is. I didn't even. Silver. Hi, oh, silver. Hooray. Yeah, I don't think I want silver. It's a little too gimmicky. It's a little too, too gimmicky. Let's put some. Let's get some trees growing. Here's some trees. What is this? Blue. What kind of blue are you today? And what the f 
Oh, maybe oranges might be better. Okay, this is a crazy orange, and it's going to dry dark again. Just watch. Just you. Oh, that's kind of a horrible death yellow orange. Let's do this. Let's just touch it up with that and just, I don't know, smash it. Let's smash it. It's like... It's pretty horrible right now. Actually, it continues to be on the scale of, of horror. Horrific. If you know what I mean. <clears throat> to the sound of music. La 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 la. Looks like it's is working. I didn't think the live stream was working. I just refreshed the page and there's a couple people there. Damn it. I don't know. Something weird is going on with my Facebook. I don't know what is going on with my Facebook. Yeah, it's not working on, on YouTube. Oh, well. Appears to be something there. Anyhow. Okay. Stop. Don't stop till you get enough. Come on. You don't stop. I don't know the words to Michael Jackson's song. Come on. Someone tell me. I don't know the words and how it goes. Come on. You don't stop. Michael Jackson sang you along. Da 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 Come on. You don't stop. Don't stop till you get enough. <clears throat> Da -na -na, da -na, da -na. This whole thing I gotta fix up. It's, it's kind of crazy. This, this little doodaddy little painting, eh? Am I, I'm, yeah, I don't know where it's gonna go. It's gonna, it's gonna transform. Ooh, should I bring in the dark sky here or not? It's like there's little things that are good. Like there's little things that are coming out that are kind of neat. Like this weird darkish forest over here like what the hell is that i like the black over there in fact i'm gonna bring in the black let's bring the black back let's bring the black and black back look at that this dark there's darkness in the forest of mordor i love lord of the rings that was such a wicked series I read the whole trilogy <clears throat> at least two times when I was about 13. Oh, I can hear myself talking on one of these internet things. Oh, it's on the DLive. I'm going to pause DLive. There's no one there anyhow, so it's okay. <clears throat> the internet. Okay. 
Let me put I'm gonna put the music interstellar back on and listen to that. Okay, are you come you can feel something coming out? Gray clouds? Because I was also what is this? Something here. What are okay, so I like that is good, and this is good. I'm gonna get the flow going. Get the flow turquoise. Hello, turquoise. See, that's kind of beautiful there. It's beginning to have that Odilion Rodin, however you pronounce his name. I like his vibe. He's got a good vibe. So it doesn't make sense. What the hell was that? Is that my head? Could have sort of heard a little weird little. It's like this. Oh, do I like that? I don't know. Let's just scratch something in there. This kind of reminds me of those meadow ones I did. I really like them. I don't think anybody else likes them, but I love them. I was doing it to this soundtrack, actually. So I could. Maybe some white would look nice here. This is beautiful music. Soundtrack to Interstellar. <laughs> I've listened to it so much. Oh, look at these beautiful little marks I'm making. This is going to be beautiful. When I got through with this thing, you're going to be amazed. You're going to be like, how did you turn that disgusting pile of horrible dog doo-doo into this gorgeous, beautiful thing? And I said, it's magic. You just trusted me. And I can turn anything into something fantasticalicious. kind of going blind here my eyes are getting so uh <clears throat> get um what is the word what are the words i'm trying to choose yeah out of focus Make some beautiful little art marks, shall we? Yeah, I'm not quite sure where this mountain. I like that blue.
Okay. Maybe strong red up here. No, um, no. Some nicer green. Holy fuck is it loud. It's like it's like a train going by. Woo! Oh yeah, this whole area is terribly horrific. Duperific.
Oh man, I'm getting. There's somebody on pick. Uh, sorry, uh, Vanali. Yeah, I, I um. There's all. I, for fuck's sake, here, check it out. This is what I'm looking at my desktop. I just noticed your chat. It's over here. I said hello. That's looking super neat. I wonder when you wrote that. Love the reds and yells with the blue. Making sense is optional when you got the rule of cool to live by. Living dangerously, man. White mice and paint. Your music is an audible in your stream, by the way. Yeah, I can't. I can't play the music loud because um, Facebook and YouTube always kill my streams. So, and most of, like you know, I've got lots of people on Facebook. And I just started this Piccolo, whatever the fuck it's called. I don't even know. What's, what is that website called? Pick, pick art or something? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> I guess actually you just must have just typed that. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, so now, now I can see that you're, you're writing stuff now. Here, I'll just show you what I'm talking about. This, I can see your text over here. Yeah, exactly. I get copyright claims all the freaking time. I can't tell you how many um, YouTube, how many videos I've done where where they've uh, copy, they've just stopped the stream and everything. <clears throat> many many hours. So, <clears throat> in fact, even recently, uh, YouTube blocked my whole video because I was playing. <clears throat> I don't know if you know Keel and Peel. No whatever it's called these these it's a comedy sh it's show these two guys and it's funny as hell and i played a couple clips so they blocked the the whole hour or two hours of me painting because i i played about two or three minutes of the comedy thing while i was painting <clears throat> so unfortunately i just like listening to music i almost have to keep it chill here, this is looking good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you this. Check this out. What part looks good is how do I how do I show it? Wait, where's the camera? There it is. Yeah, like this part is looking kind of cool. Come on, focus, baby. Focus. There we go. That part's looking good. That's kind of neat up there. That's kind of neat, but this is still looks like a whole pile of barf down there. And I still have to work on the sky to make it better. Okay. Um, focus, focus. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so we got... We... Grace said, uh, yeah, it is really stupid. Okay, so so Grace, yeah, it's not, I don't know if it's putting the text up on my screen or not, but it's here. Grace said, uh, we would like to have the great talent you have. It is beautiful and inspiring. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. Grace Chinen. Hmm. Hmm. Mine's up on the screen, but Facebook ones aren't. The whole mine's up on the screen. I'm not sure what you mean by mine's up on the screen, but the Facebook ones aren't. I don't know. It's a mystery to me. So the question is, how do I turn this whole thing? Like, I don't even know what this. What is this? place here what is this you gotta go the chat oh the chat yeah well I'm using this th the system called restream.io and you it does multicasting it sends it to like a whole bunch of stuff a whole bunch of places check it's pretty cool it's like 20 bucks a month restream.io and and so you I hooked up D live YouTube Facebook pick art too which is where you are and twitch and then they have this thing called multi-chat. So it joins them all together. And 
and but it's not it's not really working. For for example, right now Facebook, uh, sorry, YouTube is not picking up my live stream, and the the Facebook chat, like Grace just said something, it didn't show up here in this multi chat thing, so I don't know what's going on. It's all this technology. <clears throat> So what is this place here? Hmm. I know that, that green's gross. <clears throat> what do I do? Eh, yeah. Let's just do it. These little weird little lines. What are these crazy little insane lines? What are they? I don't know. I don't know. Let's do. I wanted to continue with this stuff I was doing before. How long have I been at? Yeah, um, about forty years. I've heard of it, and it sounds super cool. Can't stream anywhere else myself though, so I never tried. Have you been at it for a long time? Art and journal, yeah, about forty years. So I'm forty nine. So I got good when I was about 13, I think. I think that's when I sort of like came into it. Although I was doing it since I was very young. Yeah, I don't know what that one you're supposed to say because I've been doing it my whole life. My whole life. I love how into it you are and the heism is great. Oh yeah, well fuck. If I don't, I'm dead. I got I gotta I gotta keep it up. Keep it up. Mm. Mm. It's funny, man. This is, a, this is kind of a weird feeling like I'm still like I've been I don't even know how many of these I've been doing this for about maybe a year now this live stream and I'm still kind of you know I don't really think about it too much like now that you know like you're some person so I don't even know like you're somewhere in the world and <clears throat> I end up like I'm just talking to myself half the time and I'm like oh shit there's people here I should say hi and stuff <clears throat> <clears throat> Very often, I just have to keep talking because I got very bad tinnitus, which is ringing in the ears. So I have to like, uh, like painting helps quite a bit. So I have to just keep on going and, and talking and, and it helps quiet the, the sound. And I, it's funny, I, there's a movie called Baby Driver about this young kid who's like this crazy good driver. And I've seen it twice. And just the last time I saw it, the reason why he appears deaf is because he's got this tinnitus that I got from a kid. So it's funny because I've got this very, very extreme tinnitus. Like it's, uh, it sounds like a train going off right now in my head. <clears throat> so that's why I talk a lot. That's why I keep on babbling because uh, it distracts me. But yeah, Baby Driver, was, that was kind of a, it was a fun movie. It's worth checking out. Talk isn't great for streaming, is that right? Yeah. I don't really, um... I wouldn't say, like... Yeah, no, I don't really follow any anybody on streams and stuff. And I don't really... I just sort of just do my own thing. And 
whatever happens, happens kind of. And I'm, the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm, I'm a super private person. And uh, this is like the last thing that comes naturally to me, which is doing this in front of people. So that's why I'm doing it. Because uh, if you don't push yourself, that's the only way. I think, well, what I'm trying to say is that's what you're supposed to do with your life. Is you're always supposed to step out of your comfort zone. So this is definitely not, I'm still not used to it after all this time of doing it. I'm gonna refresh Facebook and see if yeah the whole thing is pooched. I'll refresh this chat window too, see if any news come up. Okay, no, nothing there. Hmm. Nope. 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 Hmm. I think I'm gonna bring some more oranges and they're just gonna blast through. Watch this. Well, personally, I think you're doing great. Thank you from what I, I know of you so far. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. If you want, I've got about, I actually have, I don't, I easily have more than a thousand things I've done. And I think I'm up to about eight or eight or nine hundred that I put on my website. So if you want, just this, this is my website, which I'm still working on. And you could search over. There you go. So go. To, that's my website, and you can um, search through years of shit. Oh, you son of a bitch! still working on that website there's still like some things that I got to do there's there's a few hundred like I, what I wanted to do was do everything that I've ever done like even going down to since I was a kid so I actually went to my parents house and went to their basement and started taking like drawings and things I did so, so like really young but I still have about a hundred there's probably about a hundred things I've done when I was like really young that are still I have to take pictures of and everything. It's 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 a lot of it's a lot of work actually just to get that stuff up. But I've got some. I've got some on that website. Oh, hey, Cheryl. Oh, you're checking out. Suddenly everything works at once. Yeah, yeah, I'd be too embarrassed to share my old art, even from stuff I did last year. Ah. Yeah, well, here's the crazy thing. I didn't show anyone my work for... I stopped showing it when I was about 25. 35, 45. For, t for, for 25 years, I didn't show anybody anything. <laughs> Can you imagine that? I did, I did stuff for t about 20, 25 years, and I never showed anybody... I just said, fuck it. I'm not doing this anymore. I don't, I, you know, I didn't want to, I just didn't like showing it to people. I just didn't want to, you know, whatever. But it's funny when you do get older, you just, you do kind of care less about what people think. So that's kind of, that's kind of good. Right, Cheryl? Cheryl knows me. Cheryl's on Facebook, in case you don't know. I can see it. Yeah, the multi-chat thing is working over here. Whew. Okay, I got to do the sky now. Or... Yeah, there's still stuff over here I need. 
Okay, this is still a little shitty, shitterific, and the sky has to be improved. I just gotta figure out what the flow is. Oh, this could, oh yeah, you know what? I bet you look nice. Look at this color. This is like a, a, uh, oops. How would you describe this color? That mustardy kind of yellow. Uh, um, this is what I need though up there. I should add a little bit of a little bit of white to that because it'll it'll look nice when I do that. A crop pro, a cross platform hello to Cheryl. Yeah. That's hilarious. Yep. Yeah. Cheryl, someone's saying hi to you. V Velano. Vel Velano is saying hi to you, Cheryl. I don't know if you saw it. To be honest, okay, I haven't been paying attention, but I have to clip up here, around here when I'm doing the top down view. The chat should appear over there. So I'm not sure if it is or not. I have been paying attention. That's kind of cool, isn't it? These sort of weird lines. I don't know what they are, but I like them. I don't know what the fuck they are, but I like them. Do you like them? I don't give a shit. I love them. Love it. Fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. This is what you got to do. That's my only advice, is, is fuck it, fuck it, just do it. Do it. You can do it. You can do it. Old Leon Rodin. That's the dude. I love his stuff. It's magicalicious. It doesn't make sense. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to do some stuff that doesn't make sense. But fuck, it's going to be gorgeous. Look at this. Look at that. That is turning into something beautiful. Turn from something horribly crapatastic into fantastic malicious. Oh, look at these beautiful little. Okay, let's put some light blue in here. Oh, what about this horrible color? Sometimes the most horrible colors are good. What if I went in here and did this? Oops, this, where is it? Let's put that, just little touches, just little sparkles of snappy little tiddly bits of thingamajigs and stuff. Come here, baby. You can do it. Oh, this music is awesome. Demonetized for not being family. Oh, what is banned for f bomb? Fuck, 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 fuck. <clears throat> oh yeah, I I don't make any money off this. Are you kidding me? The problem is I love swearing. I find it very freeing. And um, especially when I'm doing artwork, I have to be free. I can't limit myself. So if I drop f bombs, <clears throat> what are you gonna do? I have to do it. I don't know, did I get banned from pick it pick pick your yet? Is that what happened? <laughs> Demonetized. <laughs> That's like the last of my concerns. I'll be impressed if I if I make a penny off of any video. One penny. I'll be impressed. One penny. It'd be wicked to make a... Like, I don't know how those people make livings off doing this stuff. I mean, 
live streams were like you're talking about. That'd be wicked. Imagine that. Oh, okay, good. Well then, mission accomplished. Okay, something isn't perfect yet. What if I mix these colors together? Ooh, that's an ugly color. Let's try this. I need to hmm, need to fix this and this. Oh, I think I know what to do here. Let's try. Okay. Okay, now good luck getting banned off of Picarto though. For that I drew titty on here for a living. You draw wait. Good luck getting banned off Picarto. Though, for that, I draw titty on here for a living, but the secret. What do you mean you draw titty? Pray tell me, what is this titty that you draw? I, I know there's, there's, this is like furry art, which is the most, is the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen, which is like, people are, it's kind of like porn, but they're animals, but they're, I don't even understand. And people make money, like real money, like 10, 20 grand, a drawing or something. I should do that. I should do some furry art. <laughs> I would laugh my ass off. God, this some funny, funny shit. Okay, this color is not very nice. Show me some of your titty art. Titty. <laughs> what is titty art? Are you talking about breasts? tell what is titty art it's pretty funny dragon titty dude that's where the money is at <laughs> dragon titty art that's awesome <laughs> that's where the money is at who pays for this stuff like that's what i want to know like i don't know about you but i'm i'm almost 50 so like you know I got a mortgage. I got I got responsibilities. I, I can't fuck around with, you know. I got I got to deal with rich people who got the real cash. I don't think they're looking for dragon art, <laughs> dragon titties. <laughs> That's funny. Dragon titties. I gotta I gotta go have a good laugh at that. And I, honestly, I know almost nothing about Picarto. It was just one of the um, options on Restream, so and it's had the word art in it. So I was like, okay, I'll take a look. And I don't. There isn't a big market for watching people do art. Apparently, just you young gamers, whippersnappers, playing the video games, rotting your brain cells playing video games. Don't you know video games are uh, make you stupid? <laughs> video games make you stupid. They lower your IQ, those damn kids in their video games. Now I gotta go draw some dragon titties. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, what happened to my color? Dragon titties. I can't stop thinking about that now. I'm going to keep talking about dragon titties because that's that's the new thing. Maybe I should call this dragon titties. Someone got offended because I called one of my... Because one of the people that was following me, came a woman came up with the name Sky Porn for a bunch of paintings I was doing. She was like so happy that I thought it was funny. I liked it. 
And then I was at a show and some woman came up to me and was like, Sky porn, that's so inappropriate. And in my head, I'm going, ah, fucking relax. What do you know? It's funny. Well, if you ever get in a tight spot, you're welcome to join me drawing terrible furry. Oh, you are doing furry porn. I knew it. Fuck it. I found you out, man. I found one. Boop, boop. Furry porn. I don't think I could do it. I, I, I'd be... I don't know. I'm not... I can't do... I, I don't, I'm not good with cartoons, first of all. I'm not good with drawing straight lines. I can't do formulaic stuff. Like if it's, you know, like you know, like anime and stuff where everyone, it's all fucking looks the same. I'm really good at insulting people, by the way. Okay. Heckin' outed. Yeah. Okay. I want to see some titty porn. I want to see some furry porn, furry porn, whatever the fuck it is. That is funny. You know what I would do is I would do, here's what I would do. I'd do a serious paint. Here, 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 I'll tell you what I'll, here, check this out. <clears throat> I've been thinking about, I started doing this. I'm not just thinking about it. I started doing, I've done, I, I start ser like series of paintings all the time. And this one I, I was, I've been working on, I started a couple of paintings a couple years ago and I'm calling, I was going to call it what I learned on the internet. And I don't even know how to find them. And like years, like, you know, the Pepe mean, I did a painting, but it was meant to be a quality painting with beautiful brushstrokes of the Pepe mean. So maybe I'll do a, like my own best version of, of, um, of, uh, the goddamn furry thing. Like I'll do, okay. What year was that? Alt, right, Nazi confirmed. Well, here, here's, check this out. Um, I did it. Check this out. Appropriation. That's what I call it. Here it is. I called it appropriation. If you look carefully, it's actually quite quite nicely painted. It's hard to tell. Like it. Like there's very all these subtle little details and stuff. Because this drawing was was there was some guy who created this, and it was basically stolen by who knows who like was it 4chan whatever and it and it transformed into this ultimately into this like some people calling it like an alt-right thing um but this is my doing this painting was all about the fact that it was appropriated from the original guy who had nothing to do with what it eventually became like this thing evolved into this a meme like it became like part of a lexicon a language right this goofy face that some guy made a sketch of so that's what this thing is about so it's not about anything alt-right supporting by any means whatsoever it was my attempt to make something that's a zeitgeist in a way but try to make it beautiful like try to yeah exactly it's about it's about meme culture so i did a bunch of paintings that are along these lines like the here's here's another one the birth of art, birth of modern art. I love this. I'm going to call it birth. It has to do with the fact that the CIA helped create modern art. So I tried to make, see the word CIA? So it's meant to be, I tried to go in here and try to make something beautiful. It's a horrible photograph. Because, you know, we think that, you know, what's his name? Jackson Pollock was great. Nah, he was just, it was it was basically, it was a whole propaganda thing, Cold War bullshit, but I actually explained it a bit about here. Look at that retard. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that face. Uh, I got to fix this, the videos. They're, they should, they're a wrong aspect ratio. <laughs> Look at that. You fat fucker. Okay. All right. Yeah, thanks. That's awesome, eh? Just YouTube, I guess, just... I, I can't be bothered to, like clean up the YouTube videos and put like correct, um, you know, where it links one video to the other. I've got like a couple hundred now. So I just gave up a long time ago trying to like make it all clean. Here's what I've done. This is, this is something I'm actually kind of proud of. Check this out. <clears throat> if you go to my website, whoop, what I started to do to go home is I started so that you click on the, you click on the painting and you can zoom into it, but below there's photographs that are details of it. And then I have the, the, the videos of me painting the whole thing from start to finish. And I have, I have enough, I've got about a hundred more videos I have to upload <clears throat> where I do like summaries of them. And then you go to the next one. 
actually this is so this is the one I did just the other day and it got this is the one the video got blocked on YouTube so I can't put it up here but uh and yeah so there's I think I have I haven't linked the videos on this one this is what I do at night this is what I do like before bed I go and I add some more videos up and shit so yeah okay enough of that all right let's go back here all right so we got some cool stuff happening here the sky needs a bit of love doesn't it and this is still kind of yeah this is still pretty barfy like it's pretty horrible so i'm gonna i'm gonna do a couple little fixes i'm just gonna fix this right there i'm just gonna fix that right there i'm gonna fix this little like that that because when I have to take the tape off, it'll, it'll be kind of obvious. All right, fuck it. Okay, so the question is going to be... Thanks, Cheryl. And the colors are kind of nice, aren't they? Okay, so the sky... What if I did some lines across here? I need to professional just border. Yeah, I'm. I'm like, I don't do straight lines ever. My shit is always fucked. You know, I'm just. I like it sloppy. To be honest, I don't like when people are too neat and perfect. That kind of pisses me off. I like. I like. I like messy. It feels more honest. That's something that's important is the honesty part of it. That's why I have so much trouble with, with so much art is just copied from photographs and it just bothers me. And it bothers me so much that I think I'm going to start doing it. I'm going to start copying photographs directly. But what I'll do is I'll, 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 I'll film myself doing it so people know exactly what it's like. I try to just come up with things just from from memory because I feel that's more like it's more art pew just some weird handcuffs I put on myself here but I'm gonna yeah hmm yeah photorealism hey Mark what's up Mark It's like the gang's here. We haven't seen Cindy in a while, though. I hope she's okay. Cindy's a very nice lady who would who would often join in the chat, and she has like a wish well, she has got a German Shepherd and then like a pug or something. Cheryl, you probably remember. But I know she's she's fighting cancer, and it was not. Like, it didn't sound like things were great. And really haven't heard from her in a couple of months, actually. No, no, that's not true. I think she was on about a week or, or a couple of weeks ago, maybe. I think she said hi. When Cheryl was there, Cindy said hi, I think. But, uh, yeah, man, fuck, I hope you're okay. Cindy, if you're, if you're, if you're hearing this. Hope you're good. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. I like this color. I want to use this. Of course you recall Cindy. Fuck, Cindy was around forever. You guys were all yappy, yappy, yappy. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Okay. Uh. 
Gotta make some furry porn, porn to make some coinage. That's 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 the ticket, man. That's my next move. I'm gonna do a bunch of furry porn. I'll, I'll sell for Bitcoin on the dark web. I'll get a couple uh, wealthy Japanese businessmen. That's how that's how I roll, right? <clears throat> that's how you that's how you rock it. I'm all talk. I am all talk. Full of shit, mostly. I don't know about this area here. I don't know why this is... Something about... Yeah, what the fuck is this? This is kind of pissing me off a bit. I think I need more of a green. This bluish shit is bugging me. So let's go back to some green. Melissa, what's up, Melissa? I didn't sleep. Don't forget to invest in a bomb shelter. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Exactly. In New Zealand. <laughs> Don't forget to invest in a bomb shelter. That is funny. I like uh, watching videos of these super rich people who convert like missile silos into bomb shelters. That's wicked. I think I need a bit of... Hmm. So while I was doing this, I was thinking about a little bit about that. Remember that I stole that painting? You'll have to know I'm stocked up for at least the next two weeks on canned beans. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think my dream life would be to be Joe Rogan, where you get to talk to people about crazy stuff. Survival chance is pretty good, to be honest. <laughs> get two beans, two weeks. God, that guy has so much fun just talking to cool and interesting people. That would be so awesome. Imagine that. You just get to talk to cool and interesting people. Like the other day he was talking to um, Bob Lazar, who is this guy who had claimed to work at Area 51 on UFOs and stuff. And it was just like so cool you get to talk to people <laughs> like that. And they want to talk to you. Nobody wants to talk to me. Because I end up, I like, I love insulting people. Because it's just, I love, I love talking shit <clears throat> right Cheryl you know what I'm talking about Cheryl Cheryl knows all about it <laughs> okay um, hmm. oh yeah I was gonna show okay look at this painting look at this painting I stole this painting I think I, I put it under reproductions so it would be under is it reproductions one of these categories by Subject, yeah, re oh, come on. My subject repro reproductions. So this is where I was completely, absolutely stolen, ripped off. So this is a, see this painting here? This is, this is a cool story. So this painting was stolen from a house really close to where I grew up in Toronto. And so this is the only photograph that I've seen of it. And so what I did is I painted my own version of it up here, which to be honest, I think it looks better. I think this is better than the, anyhow, so my point is this, if you look over here, I learned a couple things. This is a bio edge axe and I learned a couple ideas that he did where he had, see this curve here and these little bobby curves? That's what I was doing up here with these little bobby little curves, bloop, 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 and over here, bloop, 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 and bloop, 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 and a whole bunch of other paintings which I could grab. So you get to learn some cool stuff. Okay. All right. 
I'm pretty sure if you laughed at those people, you get shanked live. Which people? Oh, you mean the people <laughs> in the bomb shelters? <laughs> yeah. Repeating patterns of fun. Exactly. Okay, so the sky. I gotta figure out the sky. Okay, actually, I do kind of like the lightness white over here. So, what I think I hmm, I gotta think about this. I'm looking. I'm looking at my um. Sometimes I find it's easier to look on the screen at my own painting than it is to look down here. Do you see the composition user? Okay, what I'm thinking is I could do really white here and then dark blues and grays, kind of moody. Because this is how it is currently right now. What if, or I could flip it so this was dark. Okay, I'm, I'm not asking for anyone to tell me anything. I'm talking aloud here. That's how I, I work through problems by talking aloud to myself. Okay, what the fuck should I do? Hmm, there's something kind of dull about this right now. Something dull and shitterific. It's still crapalicious over here. I could do dark. Okay, hmm. Imagine if it was dark and light over here. Hmm. Looking at the stream is way handier than getting up a. Yeah, exactly. That's 100% it. You got it. Because it's like a, I'm at a weird angle, you know? And up there, you can see it flat. Especially when I work on big paintings. Normally, I don't work on these little tiny guys. Normally, I work on four by six, four by seven feet. I'm going to start doing some... Some of my big paintings again soon. Wait, how do I go to the front view? Should I, yeah, I'll show you, like, check this out. Over here, I've got my big paintings. Those are all four by seven feet. And there's about 20 or 30 of them over there. And then I got this little 10 by four inch, little cute little son of a bitch. Okay. Oops, this view, okay. Okay, hmm. I'm just sort of stalling so I can let my brain process what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah? Not me, I'm a, I'm a giant fucker. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I've got a scale that goes to 310. And I'm off my I'm off my scale of 310, so I don't even know how much I weigh. I'm more, I weigh more than 310 pounds. That's all I know. Yes, I'm off the charts, exactly. Okay, something, something's got to happen over here. What is it? Hmm. I can't get too too finicky here. I can't get too um, caught up in these little little details because it doesn't always look good to have everything little 
perfect little dots and shit. Okay, let's focus on the clouds. Still haven't quite... All right, let's just do it. Let's go with my gut. My gut says to continue with, with what I've done already. So let's maybe do some... Let's maybe use a pencil. Some reason I want to do a with the horizon it needs a it always needs a dark line and what color maybe a, a purple would be kind of cool. Let me get a couple purples out here. Your gut is actually mine just says eat the watermelon in the fridge. <laughs> dude, you gotta come back, man. You're funny. Or do that. Then that Velan, Velano. I'm thinking Valhalla, but okay. Ah, oh, you son of a fucking dirty bastard! <clears throat> yeah, that's not so. That's not so family friendly. Yeah, always deeply offended by the stupid pencil always breaking. Come on, you little bastard. Let's go. Don't break. Oh. Oh, here I know. I'm gonna work on it upside down, and then it'll be kind of a fun surprise to see what it looks like when it when I turn it around. Look at that. Oh, let's just take this dried up gouache and just <laughs> squish it on there. I think I got my sound effects from my uncle. My uncle passed away. And Oh God, maybe two years ago, but he always made the, the most ridiculous sound effects. Ever since I was a little kid, he always made me laugh. Basically, fart fart sounds. My uncle. He was such a, like a, a regular, down to earth guy. He had kind of a hard life. He had a pretty hard life. But. where I got my fart sounds from, my sound effects from my Uncle John. Love that guy. Such a gentle guy. Yeah, he had a hard life, man. He was, uh, he was adopted. I can't remember why, because my, my mom wasn't adopted, but he was adopted. And then he couldn't have kids, so he adopted two kids. My cousins were adopted. And he had, like, chronic health problems, and he just... I remember like he was like in his 70s or something and he was working at Home Depot and he had like diabetes. He had fucking all these terrible ailments and just 
but always was such a sweetheart. He taught me how to, he taught me fishing. He was like a, kind of, he was like a marksman. He taught the RCMP shooting. He was like a competitive, he was either 22s or pellet guns or something, something like that. What a nice guy, man. Anyway. Yep, my old art teacher would have a heart attack watching you RN. Absolutely loathe seeing people rotating the canvas. Oh, fuck. Well, I never listen to anybody, ever. That's my MO. 100% self taught, even though I've been at tons of art classes and art school and everything. And the only thing I learned, no, they were great because they just let me do my own thing. They just never interfered. They let me be creative, and that's that. That was that's that was like the best thing I ever could ever have. Is just allowed me to go and do what I want to do. And I just the only thing I did learn. I learned printmaking, and I learned a little bit of uh, foundry stuff, like pouring bronze. That was cool shit. I went to art school for a year and then quit because it was a waste of time. Okay. Actually, I bumped into one of my old art teachers not long ago. We did this outdoor show in Toronto, and he came by. And... It's kind of fun here mixing. I'm always experimenting and trying new stuff. Like here, I'm like mixing up pencil and gouache and just like grinding it and just seeing what happens. And, Mixing with your fingers and just getting all nasty and dirty with it. Just see what happens. Toronto, I, I don't know. I don't go outside. <laughs> I don't go out. I literally am happy not to talk to anybody or see anybody. Got a couple friends, and that's more than enough interactions. <laughs> I go to the dog park. Mostly because of the stupid hearing thing now is terrible. I can't I can't even talk to people because my hearing is so... Uh, oh, I'm also going deaf, too. That's the other part. Part of the brain thing is I'm going deaf. Like, I'm mostly deaf in this ear now. But it's it's weird. It's not really true deafness because I can hear stuff, but I hear... A crazy loud ring. <clears throat> okay, let's just goop the shit up right here. Blah. Yep. Oh, yeah. I know all about the Illuminati. I could tell stories, but I can't tell stories. About the Illuminati. Let's see. Okay, so something's not quite right yet.
Maybe a little bit of uh, warmth in the sky, like yellow. Could be kind of good. Let's see if I did that. So I was, I was coming with these contrapo, like these directional stuff, but I don't think that's working. So let's just bring in some yellow. Just see how, how it looks, if it warms up the way I think it needs. Where are you from, Vanelli, or Val, Val, sorry. If you, if you don't want to say it's totally cool, you furry freak. You're probably from like Portland, you fucking weirdo with your goddamn furries. I'm just kidding, no, you're from, Col I'm gonna guess you're from Colorado. I got relatives in Colorado. I've been there many times. Colorado. I got lots of relatives in the States, actually. Colorado. Hmm, I'm not sure if I like that. I don't think I like that just yet. Something is bugging me. Maybe. To, hmm. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. What is it? A hell from the mountains of Hungary. Get out of here. Yeah, my parent, my family, uh, I'm from part of me is like from white Russia, which I think is up near Hungary and stuff, right? But your English doesn't, I don't believe it. I don't believe you're from Hungary. Your English is, it's too American naturalized. Like even your sense of humor. You Did you go like to university in the States or something? Or I don't know. Maybe, maybe I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I think that's, that is the most, that's the most likely explanation is I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. When I think of Hungary, I think of like, very like Eastern Slavic kind of like, I guess I know because there's one girl I worked with, Mary, she was Hungarian. So I kind of like, that's my connection, I, I guess I think of. She was like, holy shit, she was harsh, man. She was like, she was badass. <laughs> Mary, she was a tough cookie. She was like, kind of the like, office administrator of a company I worked with. And holy fuck, she did not take crap from anybody, including our CEO. <laughs> she was awesome. Nope, I just hang out with a lot of English people. Oh, cool. I'm here to steal your germs. <laughs> your jobs. Yep. I thought that was the whole, I thought that meme was about uh, people come from South America to, to the States stealing their ger gerbs, jabs. I'd go to Hungary. I think that'd be a cool place to visit. I've never really been to the Eastern Europe. Oh, that's true. I went to Moscow and St. Petersburg once. I went to Mother Russia. I went to Moscow in the, when did I go? 1990. We have the same here for the UK, Germany jobs from Eastern Europe. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. I went to, I went to Moscow and I had a KGB following me. I was a 20 year old university student. I was visiting my brother and uh, my brother was kind of like a VIP. And so the KGB were, it was like 1990 and it was unusual for like Westerners to travel there. So for, for, I think I went for about two weeks and the first week the KGB were following me. It was so fucking obvious. My brother said, yep, yeah, they're going to follow you. And uh, I went, I went to Gorky park by myself and literally there were two dudes wearing trench coats with a newspaper. It was like straight out of a cartoon. <laughs> and they eventually realized I'm just some like dorky university student. <laughs> Gorky park.
Is that right? Yeah. My brother was there. Oh, here's this is a cool story. Well, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to tell these stories. But maybe I shouldn't. No. Damn it. It'd be cool. I got some really cool stories. About spy stuff and things, but I can't. Probably shouldn't. Okay, so the sky is not quite put together. The sky, the Russians are always watching. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Well, see, my secret is I plan to be, I continue and plan to be an absolute nobody. That's my, that's my secret. Is to never be anything that important. <laughs> so no one will give a shit about you. So far, my, my scheme is working out fantastically. Put a couple of purposeful brush strokes here so people you could see that someone was intentionally doing it. Have you considered the Inquisition? <laughs> uh, that reminds me, I should watch some more Monty Python. They were funny. Monty Python. I like the skit with the one with the bird that's dead and he tries to return. The bird that's like, I think it's like nailed to the post. <laughs> it's not dead, it's resting. <laughs> Have you considered, oh sure. Heard they were coming for America from uh, Brazil or something? Who, what are you talking about? I, I missed that. I missed the reference. There's a guy who often shows up and says hi his name is wesley and every time he has some sort of like in not quite esoteric but his he always making these ridiculous puns and i like you have to think about it like he he has all these like very subtle references and i'm like jesus christ Wesley, what are you talking about and then i have to spend time googling it to figure it out and stuff but uh he might show up wesley's hasn't been here in a couple days then again, I haven't been here in a couple of days either. But some migrant caravan. What are you talking about? An excellent plan. So have you considered the Inquisition? I heard they're coming for America from Brazil or something. Some migrant caravan. Like, I understand what you're talking about, but I don't know the reference of the joke. But that's okay. Hmm. It's kind of neat. I like, I like these little... Next little depth when the humor is so subtle nobody understands. That's right, exactly. You're you're in a you're in a, a your own laugh track. No joke there. That's the trick. Yep. Sometimes I get so into my painting and I start talking and I literally forget what I'm talking about. And I and I'm wondering, oh my god, what did maybe I said something really bad? <laughs> that's my fear, is I'm gonna say something that's just like unintentionally bad. 
you know, who knows, like, who knows what it'll be. Because it's like I go into it. Sometimes I really go into, like, you know, weird little trances when I'm doing my painting and stuff. And it's sort of like I just sort of flow into this other space and something else takes over. I don't know if you know what I mean. And I don't know. Actually, yeah. So, like, this is a painting that I, I was going to continue with. It's a self a self-portrait of me holding holding my own tongue like doing doing this I think my my skull should be over here more probably more like over here but I'll work on that another time Okay, I kind of like this. It does have a, kind of a luminosity, doesn't it, over, over here? That's why I don't remember it, because I, I do that too between two strokes, and it look like some idiot who can't finish for Well, that's literally, that's how, that's, well, I'm doing it for you then, bud. So I jabber on some incredible nonsense. Maybe I should bring a different, let's try an orange. Is this a good one? Okay. Just gonna add a tiny, tiny touch. <coughs> just to warm this up a bit, just to be, give it a bit of Bob's your uncle. A little bit of who diddly what's yo. I I feel like our relationship's pressing too fast here. I don't know if we're ready for finishing each other's sentences. <laughs> no, no, no. You'll know when I like someone when I start insulting you prophetically. Is prophetically? Is that even an expression? When I when I when I, I like when I like people I st I, I dish out the insults and uh, swear like a sailor. That's that's when you know. Or maybe I just don't like it. You son of a bitch. Okay, so hmm, I'm not sure if I like that. I don't know if I like that. Hmm. No, I don't like that. That kind of pisses me off. Let me get some white. Cover that up. Need a bit more white. Where's that white? Let's put the let's goop it on here. Okay. I think it could have a little bit of a. I'll just piss off your art teacher some more. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Tell tell him I said he's full of shit. Or her. My opinion: if you don't rotate the canvas, you're fucked.
She was full of shit, but makes me feel happy to know she's out there seeding somewhere whenever a paper is turned. <laughs> That's funny. Try to do something I'm not very good at, which is try to like clean up that little line there and maybe bring it right across over here so the crest of the hill is still illuminated a bit. So what I'm gonna do, oops, these brushes in there. Just gonna just take in a few seconds to clean up. All right. Let's do this. Blow my nose one more time. No, one more time after that. Okay. <laughs> Whew. It has been a trip in my brain. It's really crazy how loud it is. Okay. Add a little bit of water so it won't be pure white, but it will clean it up a bit. This is what I'm the least good at, is these straight. Come on, you little... I don't hold my breath. Rock fuck balls and shit. Crap-tastic fuckers. Son of a fuck, I fucked it up. <sighs> well, good thing it's gonna dry darker. It's gonna dry a little bit darker. Let's see how it looks. No, I don't like that. I'm not quite ready. It's not ready for prime time yet. Let's get some maybe reds. Ooh, what about blues and reds and purple? That's an interesting idea. What about some purple? Propel, Rush, Prussian blue. Let's see what the hell this Prussian blue is all about. Ooh, it's a nice, it's a nice Prussian blue. Let's just make it a little bit grayer. Spoilers, it's not about Prussia. I was very disappointed. What are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? Okay, that's, that's shit balls right there. I don't like what I just did. Hmm, that's not good. That's not good at all. It looks better when it was darker. Crest of the hill. I don't know, but I need to, I need to make it an unpleasant Prussian blue. Oh, no, no, no. The blue. Prussian blue is beautiful here. I mixed it with gray over here. Uh, yeah, that's why it was not so impressive. Prussian blue by itself is fucking awesome. Look at this. 
Let's add some in there just to show you. It's awesome. Trust me. It's a nice color. Look. Look at that. That is a beautiful color. Okay. Let me get back to business here. Let's get the black. Get the black with the Prussian blue. Stop screwing around. Let's see what I can come there. Ooh, look at that darkness. That's what I'm talking about. That's the spookiness I need. That's the color. Let's make it a little ominous. That's what I'm trying to get at. Not too goddamn hanky. Or genki. Genki, that's it. That's Japanese. It's genki is a Japanese word that means happy, happy. Chutto ni hango hanishimasu yo. Genki wa Tokyo gen desu ne. What I think I just said was, I speak a little Japanese and Genkike is is slang for Genki. In Tokyo, at least back in the day when I lived there, Genkike was like, if you're from Tokyo and you asked, how you doing? You'd say Genkike, as opposed to just Genki. Where's the block? Probably because there's so much water mixed in here. Mm. a little bit better that's a little bit better Okay, I'm feeling that now. You feeling it? I am feeling it. I think we can pretty close to get this, this thing's... Hmm, do I like that? Do I like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? I think it needs a, an outline. Ooh, you know what? Watch this. Let's piss off the art teacher. Put some pink... Oh, you... For well, let's we'll see what happens. Pink lines. Oh, that's kind of good. So I'm scraping away and it's creating a, something for me. Okay. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Look at that. I'm going to keep that there. And just for shits and giggles, let's take a magic marker. Marker. And make a black line right along there. Ooh. Just to say, I used a magic marker just to piss everybody off. Magic marker. Karma. Oh yeah, I'm fucked for karma. Let's do. Put a little bit, a couple of red streaks in here. I don't know what she done. Coming up slowly, here she comes. Coming up slowly, here she comes. Oh, that's nice. Look at these last little final marks to make it perfect, to make it beautiful. Just takes it, just a couple of last little schniggles and tickle, little last little things and stuff. Pink 
pink cloud is always good. Oh god, I hate pink. Pink pisses me off. Okay. Five hours later. Yeah, exactly. Actually, how long's been? Feels like about two and a half hours. How long has it been? Oh, it's only been two hours. Two hours and eight minutes. Just one more thing. Oh, exactly. I'm notorious for that. I like be like, I'm done. Uh, well, just one more. And I often, you know what happens? I don't know about you, but like, I, I like, I'll look at it. Okay, I'm gonna come back later. Then, I, then later, I'm like, ah, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Hmm. Okay. I should just stop. I although. Hmm. All right, now what are we going to call this little son of a bitch? What are we going to call this thing? I'm just going to turn off interstellar music. Is it a mouse? Oh, it looks like my mouse died. Oh, here we are. Okay. What are we going to call this thing? What should we call this? Let's call this thing. Look how little it is. It's so tiny. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna take some photographs of it outside, so I need to keep this thing on it. What should I call this? Names are freaking hard. Yeah, I never like naming things. That always just bugs me. In fact, I just did a whole series. Check these out. This is kind of funny. I was so like annoyed with trying to come up with a name i called them come on what the hell i called it some trees <laughs> so this is some trees number one some trees number two number three number four number five number six and eventually i i, I threw this one in there because it just looks similar and these are all actually i think these are about the same size yeah so see some trees number one Oh, I have to do all the videos to these. I have to attach all the videos and everything. Yep, some trees. I've just been leaving my files and numbers. Yeah, there's a guy, there's an artist in Vancouver who does these abstract paintings and his are all like numbered, like these weird, crazy number system. Yeah, I don't like putting a forest. Actually, no, I already have something called forest. I think I have forest. I have a mystical forest. That's what it is. It's only six paintings, but some of them, this one is, was stolen. That's sold. That's no longer with me. I can't remember. This is a little one. This is a cute little one. Look how little it is. Bloop, bloop. I don't know if I have any, this is before I started doing videos. Yep. All right. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. One second. Hey, wanna come say hi? forget what it's doing is this thing still recording yeah it was the first time in like I, I've, I've done so many hours where I just forget to hit the record button you should subscribe exactly go to my YouTube channel subscribe for the dog she's always around okay yeah let's call this one done done nice nice chat with you there Val Maybe I'll see you around. 
Yeah, Nugget is cute, man. She's an awesome dog. She's actually a good guard dog. Holy shit. I was very impressed, man. She sounds fucking terrifying. Someone's like a... I had a guy working at my house yesterday. Holy Christ, you scared the hell out of him. <laughs> It's amazing how good their ears are. I don't understand what that joke was. I think you try. I think you, I think Val, you stretched yourself a little thin with that last one. It just, it just that was a bit of a that was a bit of a jump scare. Yeah. <laughs> She actually has a surprisingly deep bark for for such a pretty little thing. Yeah, she got like I got bitten by this German Shepherd a couple weeks ago. That was basically they got in this crazy little two second fight, and I tried to. I was like. She was, she's fearless. My dog is fucking fearless. Holy shit. She will play fight with any, there's one Rottweiler at my dog park that I love and she loves me, man. And this dog is fucking terrifying if you don't know her because when you, I don't know if you know Rottweilers, but um, I really love them. I had a buddy who had a Rottweiler. It was just the sweetest fucking dog. But when you when you scratch them, like she loves her ass getting scratched, and her happy sound is the most terrifying thing. It's like, and so, like my dog will totally play with this huge Rottweiler, and they're like, you think they're gonna kill each other, but they're just having fun. <laughs> the last one wasn't a joke. Just saying, I kind of took over your chat from your regulars. Ah, no, no, that's all good, man. That's all good. All dogs are terrified. Are you kidding me? Man, I love all dogs. I'm going to get a German Shepherd next, probably. I love German Shepherds. I'm pretty good at training dogs. This is She's my second dog that I had as an adult. And it's been a long time. Like, she is very well trained. Like She can do some amazing stuff. Can't even tell her when to go to the washroom too. Oh my god, she sheds like crazy, nonstop, fur everywhere. Yeah, my one of my best friends growing up had a German Shepherd, and that dog, that house, had so much goddamn hair in it. Part of the reason is his dad was like this hippie musician, French Canadian, and he never really cleaned up. It's kind of a <laughs> And their dog, Matisse, had like always shedding. She was terrifying too. And if you didn't know these dogs, yeah, you wouldn't come within a hundred feet, man. <laughs> but um, the trick is you get to know them. I had another buddy who had a um, Doberman Pinscher named Merlin, and that dog, man, you come, you come to the front door, and you're you're not coming in. Like uh, it, you had to be introduced to Merlin, otherwise she would have attacked you. And this is. They lived in Florida in a, in a really rough part of Tampa. And so they kind of needed like, like a guard dog. Like everyone had bars on the windows and stuff. It was like a big drug area. But he was like, he was in his early, yeah, he was probably about, he was a couple years older than me. He was about 25 and I was like 23. And the cool thing about Merlin was once he got to, yeah, I think it was a he, maybe she, I don't know. They got to he or she got to know you. It was just like a super suck. And one thing I really remember about Merlin was he he would sit with his butt on the couch with his paws on the on the floor, and that's how he would sit. It was the funniest thing. We don't have much of a decent dog culture here, so dog training is not really a thing. Get jumped on by massive money dogs, etc. Oh, really? No, dogs are big here. People, it's very common to have a dog for a pet. Um. Yeah, dog culture. Yeah, I could. I guess we do have a dog culture. There's like dog parks all over the place, and there are special zones where dogs can run free. The Doberman I met were super sweet, though. Yeah, I. You know what's funny? Like, I don't know Dobermans. I just don't like the way they look as much. I like the way German. I love the way German Shepherds look. To me, they're just beautiful dogs, and uh, and I got to love Rottweilers after my buddy got one 
I, you know, originally I didn't like them. They look kind of stocky and freaky, but once you get to know them, they're just, they're very affectionate. But yeah, Dobermans, I just never got the, I don't like the way they look. They look kind of like, they don't, they're not like huggable dogs. Like, believe it or not, a Rottweiler is very huggable dog. Like it's very lick your face kind of thing, but uh, Dobermans are, they just look like guard dogs that are going to kill you. <laughs> Maybe it's just I haven't had the the good experience I've had with the other ones. Hear people just smack the dog in the backyard and done. Oh man, that's terrible. No man, here dogs are are treated very well. I would imagine. I mean, for the most part, people really dogs are part of your family here. You know, like they're just literally part of your family for for a lot of people. For most people, I'd imagine. That's too bad. I guess it's, it's just a cultural thing, I guess, right? Right, baby? Here, I'll show you something kind of cool. Here, toy. Put my hand. No, put your toy. Where's it, your toy? Go get it. Put my hand. Over here. Not yet. Put it right here. Put it in my hand. You can do it. Good girl. Ready? Come here. Sit. 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 Good girl. Stay. Ready? Go get it. Good girl. She tries, man. She'll put it right in my, my hand. I won't have to move. The Anglosphere in general love their pets, and it's fucking great to see. <sighs> the Anglosphere. Okay. I don't know if I, you know this, but I didn't. My heart. My heart. I can't take this. That's her with her squeezy. <laughs> That's her. It's like. <laughs> yeah. That's my problem with this one chew toy. It's got that squeaky sound. Oh, yeah. She's super cute. All right. Maybe I'll try taking a nap. I didn't sleep at all last night. Zero sleep. It was really weird. Okay. All right. I'm out of here. It's good chatting with you, Val. And uh, if anyone else was chatting, I'm sorry I didn't see because I didn't have my... Uh, Oh, sir, someone on DLive followed me, San, Sandrix222, uh, two, two, two. sorry, I didn't notice, I, uh, yuck, terrible times, I don't know what you mean, all right, well, now I'm definitely saying goodbye, okay, take it easy, peace out, I'll do some more painting sometime soon, take care, ciao.